Hey YouTube, it's Chase Variant coming with my very first video. You know, I've watched um, some of you guys uh, show your comics and books on YouTube and I really enjoyed watching them. So I thought, hey, I'm going to get in the fun and start my own channel. And so here we have it. And this is the inaugural episode of the Chase Variant Hauls. This is a eBay haul that I guess on average I paid about a dollar sixteen to a dollar fifty per book there's one in here that I paid a little more for and I'll let you know when we get to it okay we're gonna start off with some rebirth stuff okay very colorful very dynamic Batgirl number one cover I really like the use of color in that uh, photo in that cover rather just gorgeous reminds me a little bit of a pastel type of a, a watercolor almost painting and here I picked up a Cyborg Rebirth number one. Okay. And that wasn't the the cover that grabbed my eye per se, but you know, it was it was there and I had to fill an order and it was under a dollar or it was just a little over a dollar. So I picked it up. This is the cover that I actually like. And again, none of these books are really worth anything. They're probably worth just about the dollar I paid for them. But they're in immaculate condition because they're not that old, obviously. And um, they were really cheap, so I picked them up. Okay. Here we have a, a Blue Beetle, number one. And I guess I chose these books primarily to fill out the order, like I said. It was one of those orders where if you buy X number of books you get free shipping so I kind of it's you know just bought a bunch of cheap books and got free shipping uh, because there was only one book that I really wanted the seller had okay though I did want actually that's not true I wanted some of these books I just didn't really it wasn't like it was a I wasn't looking for them but given the opportunity and when I got the opportunity I grabbed them another one would be the Suicide Squad Rebirth number eight I absolutely love, love, love this cover. The cracked mirror of Harley applying her lipstick. Half Quinzel, half Harley Quinn. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Gorgeous piece of art. Another really, really strong cover from the DC Rebirth line is Wonder Woman, number 11. Just a breathtaking, stunning, stunning, stunning cover. I mean, I could, I just, I could have framed this literally. I love this cover so much. Just beautiful. I'd imagine that if Wonder Woman ever did feel fear or had fear, it would look something like that. And I picked up a Fool Killer number one. I'm a long time Fool Killer fan. I didn't mind the Jester outfits he had in the Bronze Age and in the 80s. The Tough Max look from the 90s was okay. And I liked the Tough Max, uh, the Max Full Killer line. Uh, those books were really, really fun. They were really good books. Haven't had a chance to read this one yet, but I do not like the new Full Killer uh, costume here. Just, I don't know, something tells, it just looks like they're trying too hard. Well, given this first one was literally like almost a clown suit, what's, what's too hard compared to that? Okay. And another one I picked up for just over a dollar would be Patsy Walker, Hellcat number one, cover A. And the cover A of the, of the standard um, variant covers is my favorite. Uh, it reminds me of the old Miss America, Patsy Walker debut days. And, I, you know, it's just kind of like a classic look to it. I do like the one in 25 variant of the Hellcat number one, though, the best. Okay. and picked up now anytime you see a cool cool book for a dollar no matter when it came out you gotta get it so I had to pick this up this is super cool the all-female X-Men team uh, number one and all these books just they, they, they shipped in such pristine condition they're, they, they're just beautiful condition okay. I also picked up a uh, Riri Williams is Iron Man, the Invincible Iron Man number one, the Brian Michael Bendis um, book that's out now. Okay. And 
some super cool Spider-Man covers I picked up for close to nothing, guys. Close to nothing would be Amazing Spider-Man 16.1. Okay, just gorgeous. I, I, I like the gothic look of it, and I like the, the surreal, not quite realistic look. Still very much a painting look to it, but there's something kind of really just eye-catching about uh, that that gothic you know looking spider-man looking over the city really really like that cover here's another really great cover the 19.1 uh, amazing spider-man and again um maybe a dollar sixteen I bought this book for so I was like what the heck let's do it and rounding out the dollar buys I've got this super beautiful Moon Knight number seven. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Moon Knight book. And uh, yeah, I'm a werewolf by night freak. I love werewolf by night. And I, you know, I think he's one of the greatest characters, one of the most underused characters in the Marvel Universe. So yeah, this cover just spoke to me. And here is that Ninjack. This is the book that did not cost a dollar. I paid about seven dollars for this Ninjak variant um, to the Matt Kent um, book and it's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I really like the penciling here. Um, the detail is immaculate. The condition of the book is pristine, high gloss white. And um, yeah, so it, that wraps up my eBay uh, pickup and my first video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, you know, if you're into comics and, and nerdy stuff and showing off this stuff, just subscribe and leave a comment in the field. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I should be doing. Okay. And thanks for watching.